Hello, my darling friends, and welcome to True, your 30-day yoga journey. Today is day three. Get ready to stretch. Alrighty, partners, let's begin lying flat on the back. Yay! Take your time getting there. Come on down to Yoga Town. And you're gonna extend the legs out long. And then when you're ready, take a deep breath in and reach the fingertips all the way up and over your head. So you're taking a nice, big, full body stretch. Now coming off yesterday's practice, we're gonna close the eyes. So trust me, trust yourself, trust the video. And you're gonna hook the thumbs here little Wu-Tang, and then you're just gonna flex through the feet. So press into your heels, let the weight of your hands draw down, a big stretch through the shoulders. Take one more big inhale, then slowly release. <sighs> Relax the hands down gently at your sides. You can soften through the toes and the feet. Now, <clears throat> make sure that you're not holding on in your legs. Sometimes you don't realize that you're actually holding, gripping, so relax from the waist down, and then press into your head physically, literally press into your head and lift your chest up, and then snuggle your shoulder blades underneath you, and that might allow you to open the palms and just feel a, a broader opening through the chest. Alrighty, nice and easy, here we go. Dropping the left ear over to the earth. Pause here. Reach your right fingertips out a little further. Feel that stretch through the right um, side of your neck. And then slowly bring it back to center. And rock your right ear to the earth. And reach out through your left fingertips just a little more. Maybe just a little adjustment. Then breathe deep as you feel that stretch through the left side of your neck. A trap. And then slowly come back to center. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Arrive here now. Awesome. Now you're gonna press the palms into the earth, hug your navel down so you're connecting to your center, kind of engaging that um, transverse abdominus, not kind of, you're engaging the transverse abdominus by scooping the tailbone up, zipping upper abdominals and lower belly in towards the middle. Inhale. Exhale, slowly begin to lift your right knee up towards your chest. You're gonna give your right shin a big hug and try to keep this in engaging quality in your center. So try to keep your uh, transverse abdominus turned on here as you scoop the tailbone up, hug the lower ribs down and then squeeze that right knee into the chest. Now, if it feels better in your body, if your body is kind of telling you to lift the left knee and place it on the earth, go for it. Otherwise we might Begin to activate through the left toes and firm down through the left thigh bone. So the reason to today is stretch, day three, is so many people think that they have to be flexible to do yoga. That is the number one thing I hear everywhere I go, I talk about what I do, or if people ask me about my life, their first response, their initial response is, well, I'm not flexible, I, I can't do yoga. And sometimes people know that, uh, you know, they say, I should do yoga because I'm not flexible. But you don't have to be flexible to do yoga. Today we'll introduce some movements and some synchronization with breath that invite more flexibility. But see if you can also stretch your mind. We don't have to be flexible to do yoga. We're creating flexibility in the mind, the body, and the spirit. Okay, release that. Nice compression in the Lower abdomen and the stomach, really great for digestion. Now let's squeeze that left knee all the way up and in. Again, you can bend the right knee if you like. Lower back is nice and supported here. Squeeze and lift. Nice and active in your right leg. Breathing into your lower belly. 
and just chewing on, on those ideas. Um, it's not just flexibility in your body, but what are some things that you could maybe open your mind to or your perception? Stretching in more ways than one here on the yoga mat. Take one more breath here. And then exhale to release it all the way down. Once again, we'll hug the right knee all the way back up. Inhale. And then exhale, take it over towards the left side of your mat and open your right fingertips out. Feel that nice opening through the right pec. And we come into a supine twist. Turn onto your right ear, feel that stretch in the left side of your neck. Then close your eyes or soften your gaze and pay attention to the sound of your breath. Beautiful, from your navel, draw it down, come back through center. You're gonna squeeze the right knee into the chest. You guessed it, inhale in, exhale, peel the nose up towards the knee. If you want a little more, you can let the left heel hover here. Again, turning on those abdominals. Inhale, and exhale to release everything down. Awesome work, with control, gently release the right leg down, inhale. Exhale, connect to your center, your abdominals turn on, and from there we pull the left knee in. So we're working on functional movement for our flexibility practice. This is gonna help us throughout the whole journey here. We'll squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, find your twist, guiding the left knee over towards the right. Opening up through your left arm. Feeling that nice stretch through the pec, the shoulder, and then turning on to the left ear. Inhale in. And exhale to release. Slowly bring it back to center. Hug the left knee into the chest. Firm through the right leg. Inhale. Then exhale. Navel draws down as you peel the nose up towards your knee. Squeeze and lift. And then if you want, you can let your right heel hover here just to turn on your core. <laughs> Big inhale. And exhale to slowly lower everything down. Awesome. Extend the left leg out long. Inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Nice full body stretch once again. And then exhale to float the hands down from your center, from your navel, drawing down to the earth. Activate, you're gonna bring both knees up to the chest. And now hug both shins, feel that length in the lower back body. And you can just take a couple cycles of breath here to find what feels good. So maybe you draw circles with the knees one way and then the other. Or perhaps rocking gently side to side. Relax any tension or stress that you might be carrying in the neck, the shoulders, the upper back here. And then after you take a couple moments to just get a nice little massage in the lower back. We're gonna slide the hands to the backs of the thighs and we're gonna begin to rock and roll up and down the length of the spine. So you can rock as many times, excuse me bud, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come here for a second. Oh, sorry. You can rock as many times as it feels awesome in your back. If this is new for you, it's fun. It's a little wake up call for your core and for your back. I remember when I first started doing this, nice one. It was impossible. I felt like such a goof and now it's just part of my daily routine. Feels really good. So rock and roll once or twice more. And then we're gonna come all the way through to tabletop position. So maybe cross the ankles, plant the palms mindfully. And when you get there, bring the big toes to touch and the knees as wide as your yoga mat. And then the right hand's gonna come to the center of the mat and the left hand's gonna slowly peel across the arm, across the chest and reach up towards the sky. Big stretch, press into the tops of the feet here. For the right arm, the upper arm bone kind of rotates back here. It'll give you a little space. 
And then just make sure that you're not collapsed in the neck. So lengthen through the crown. One more breath here, you got it, inhale. Then exhale, come back to center, nice and easy. Left hand replaces the right. Feet and legs stay the same. And we're gonna begin to open up through the chest once again. Right fingertips across the heart. We press away from the mat with our left hand and right fingertips reach up towards the sky. Now again, careful not to collapse in the neck. Keep it nice and long. Big inhale, breathe into all four sides of the torso and exhale to release it down. Fabulous. Walk the knees now back underneath the hip points. Press firmly into the tops of the feet. Drop your elbows exactly where your hands are. And then just pay attention to this stacking of the bones of elbow right underneath the shoulder. Then wrist comes in line with the elbow. So we have two parallel lines here. What's up, dog? And then I'm gonna keep that, maintain that. So we have this strong foundation here as I slowly claw through the fingertips and begin to peel my tail up and walk my knees back for heart to earth pose or puppy posture. You can think of this kind of as a half downward dog. So it's the same actions, just a little more cooling. Big heart opener here. Slowly begin to release heart to earth, forehead to mat. If it doesn't come all the way to the mat, it's okay. And then just take a moment to look up and notice, have your wrists come in or your elbows go out? If they have, it's pretty standard, it's all good. We'll just come back up, reset, two parallel lines with the forearms. Inhale to look forward and exhale, find that stretch. So sometimes we come to yoga and we stretch the same muscles over and over, both in mind and body. So with true, we're really challenging ourselves lovingly to see if we can stretch new muscles find new connections. Now, if the toes are not curled under, go ahead and curl them under here. Draw the navel in and up and begin to shift forward. Shift all the way forward, gaze goes forward, and we begin to lift the knees one by one up and come into a strong forearm plank. Now, my bones are stacked here, so my shoulders are supported. I'm gonna imagine my sits bones really reaching towards my heels here. I'm gonna scoop my tailbone in just a hair here, turn on those transverse abdominis once again. Inhale to look forward just with your gaze, keep the neck nice and long. And then exhale, tug the shoulders away from the ears. Now feel that shake, that tremble, that piranha. Notice what it feels like to be alive today. Inhale, and then exhale, slowly lower the hips down to the earth, beautiful. Flip to the tops of the feet now, and we're gonna tuck the chin into the chest. Now we're coming into a sphinx pose, but notice again if your wrists have come in or elbows go out. Tuck the chin, press into your pubic bone and slowly roll it up. So activate the upper body here. Reconnect with your breath. And then I've in time been able to unlock a good amount of space in my shoulders, still have a long ways to go. <laughs> but um, if, you like, maybe come out of it just a hair. You don't have to be pushing so hard. And then everyone, for the last cycle of breath, tuck your chin so that you feel that length through the back of your neck. Cue wind chimes outside me house. Pay attention to all the things. I started leaving Benji in the videos because I just love this idea of embracing the at-home yoga practice as is. Okay, your biceps are working a little bit here. Draw your navel in. Take one more big breath. And then exhale, slowly release and enjoy this release. You're gonna come onto the belly. Release the arms. You're already on the belly, but come on to your rib cage. You're gonna send the fingertips out left to right. Now, listen carefully, inhale, lift the right toes up towards the sky, bend your right knee. Exhale, press into your palms, continuing to op up, open up through the chest and that left pack, you're gonna slowly come to rest on your left ear. Maybe the right foot comes around, place it on the ground. Maybe right fingertips to the earth, right elbow to the sky. So breathe here, keep the fingertips active. Big stretch through the chest, left pec, inhale. Exhale, slowly melt it back through center. 
with control. And we'll take it to the other side by pressing through the right hand and slowly peeling the left toes up. Bend the left knee. And here we go, coming onto the right ear. Continue the journey. So it's nice in time. So if this is brand new for you, be kind. But it's nice in time to press into the earth with the left palm to give it a little resistance. And we'll get there, but eventually maybe we'll even grab that top foot, kick it back. Let's take it nice and slow, establishing connection to your breath over and over again. Great, slowly unravel, bring it back to center. Now this time we'll bring the hands down, slide them in line with the rib cage. Then snuggle your shoulder blades in towards your body. So really suck them in. Press into your pubic bone. And here we go. Inhale, cobra. Roll it out. Just a little hair toss. Okay. Big breath. Exhale to release. Curl the toes under. Press up to all fours. And then take a deep breath in. And from your tail, begin to peel up. Downward facing dog. Claw through your fingertips and begin to take your dog for a little walk. So pedal through the feet. Start to listen to the sound of your breath. Maybe connecting to that ujjayi breath or that ocean sound. Then on your next inhale, lift the right leg up high. And then exhale, slowly bring it all the way up to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, lower the back knee, open the chest. And then exhale, plant the palms, step it back, downward facing dog. Second side, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step it all the way up and in, squeeze. And then lower the back knee, inhale, open the chest. And then exhale, plant the palm, step it back, downward facing dog. Ah, awesome. Deep breath in through the nose and exhale out through your mouth. Ah, nice cleansing breath. Now bend your knees, lift the heels, come onto your toes. Melt your belly towards the tops of your thighs, claw through the fingertips, inhale to look forward and exhale to make your way to the top, stepping one foot and then the other, ragdoll. Now relax everything here. Let the weight of your head go. Soften through the fingertips. Breathe deep. Find your footing. And then when you're ready, slowly roll it up. Rooting down through the feet. Lift and lengthen all the way up from the crown of your head. Stand up nice and tall here, mountain pose. Inhale and exhale to relax your shoulders down. Now inhale, you're gonna shift your weight to your left foot, bring the palms together. Then slowly activate your core. You're gonna bring the right knee all the way up, squeeze just like we did on our backs. And then we're gonna interlace the fingertips and capture not the top of the knee, but just below the knee and squeeze and lift. So a little balancing here. Big breath in, long breath out to release and switch. Shifting weight to the right foot now. Here we go, inhale, squeeze the left knee up and in. Press into your right heel firmly. Then capture the left shin just below the knee. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Inhale, grow taller. And then exhale to release. Beautiful. Inhale to reach for the sky. Lots of energy in the fingertips here. And then exhale to grab the left wrist with your right hand. Then lengthen the tailbone down and inhale. Exhale, side body stretch. You're gonna tilt to the right and bump the hips to the left. Now pull your hands back in space. Spiral your heart up towards the sky. Press into your feet evenly. Inhale, exhale from your center, draw it back. Inhale to reach for the sky. 
Exhale, lengthen tailbone. Get situated. Then we'll grab the right wrist and here we go. Big inhale to reach up and over. And exhale to the left, bump the hips to the right. Pull the hands back in space. Spiral your heart to the sky. <clears throat> Excuse me, sky. <laughs> And then inhale in here, smile. Exhale from your center, your core, come back. Break free, inhale, lift everything. And exhale, should feel really awesome to rain it all the way down to the ground. Forward fold. Clasp the elbows here, bend the knees. Make sure you're not gripping in the toes, so soften through your toes. And then you're gonna rock the elbows to the right and then through center and to the left. And then keep it going. And as you do this, keep pressing into your heels firmly. Right, and then left. And then close your eyes and try to really focus on the nuance of this. Find that stretch. And if you hit a point of frustration, can you be flexible in your mind? Can you use your breath to stretch, to stretch, sorry, I got zanned out, <laughs> to stretch beyond that moment? And trust. Just keep going. All right, all right. Bring it back to center. I only did two. All right. So I was not doing what you think. <laughs> Release your hands. You're going to step the right foot all the way back and then the left foot all the way back. Now you're going to inhale to look forward, shift forward, hug the elbows into the side body, fire it up. And then you're gonna slowly bend the elbows lower all the way to the belly or catch chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. So you're gonna come to cobra or up dog here. As you breathe in, it's a big heart opener. And as you breathe out, we make our way to downward facing dog. Beautiful. <sighs> Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. <sighs> Inhale to lift the right leg up high. Exhale to shift forward, squeeze, knee to nose. Now step it up, pivot on the back foot, and inhale, reach for the sky, warrior one, arms reaching all the way up. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, up, and then exhale, take it all the way back. Big bend in that front knee. Now from here, we'll wiggle the right fingertips, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, slowly shift to bring your right elbow to the top of your right thigh. Then inhale, just like we did before, left fingertips cross over and along the chest, and then reach up towards the sky. Option here to send the right fingertips down. Inhale to find expansion, you got this, more space, more length. And then exhale to slowly bring it all the way back down to your lunge, nice and slow. Pivot on the back foot. Inhale, drop that back knee. Open the chest, look forward. And then release it back down. Plant the palms, step it back. Look forward, inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, slowly lower all the way to the belly or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to release. Curl the toes under, press up to plank, big breath in. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh, starting to find a little warmth as you stretch and wake up the body. From your downward dog, here we go. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, shift forward, claw through the fingertips. Then step the left foot up, pivot on the back foot. Here we go, Virabhadrasana one. Inhale to reach for the sky. Strong legs. Beautiful, inhale, lift the sternum, bend that front knee. Exhale, warrior two, open it up. Strong focus, strong breath. If you're restricting your breath or holding your breath, assess, find a big inhale. And then inhale to reach forward and up. And then exhale to sink back. Beautiful, keep that front knee bent, inhale. Exhale from your center, your core navel draws in, abdominals fire up, and we bring the left elbow to the top of the left thigh. Bones are stacked here, here we go. Inhale, right fingertips trace a line across the heart all the way up towards the sky. Right toes are turned in. Inhale to find expansion. 
Maybe left fingertips come down here. Exhale to release everything back to your lunge. Awesome. Soft landing, right knee comes to the earth. Inhale, open the chest, open your heart. Big stretch, big opening. And then exhale to release. Plant the palms. You're gonna step the left knee back to meet the right. And we're gonna slowly send the hips back. Child's pose, keep the fingertips reaching forward. Close your eyes and listen to the rhythm of your breath. Claw through the fingertips and gently tug the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, press into the tops of the feet. Slowly begin to rise back up. Awesome, from here, just walk the knees hip width apart for a little stability. So you're back in your neutral spine, tabletop position. And we're gonna slowly inhale, curl the right toes under, send the right leg out. Exhale, bring the right knee all the way up. Step the right foot up. And from here, we're gonna loop the shoulders and slowly straighten the right leg. So a bit of a runner stretch here. Keep a nice micro bend in that front knee, maybe even a generous bend. And then really actively draw your right toes towards your face or your third eye. Breathing deep here, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. From here, dig into your right heel. You're gonna slowly roll forward onto your right foot. Inhale, open the chest. Lift your heart, big stretch. And then exhale to release. Come back to tabletop position. Reset. Then inhale, curl the left toes under, extend that left leg out, stretching through the back of the leg. And then here we go, fire up your core, lift that left knee all the way up, step the left foot all the way. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly begin to straighten through the left leg, flex the left toes towards the face. Now find a little lift here, find your breath. So when I say find a little lift, I just mean if you're kind of collapsing your energy down into the earth, you're getting a good stretch, but it's just not the same. So pay attention to the nuance of maybe lifting your heart space up, being in control of your movement, your energetic body kind of supporting your physical body and vice versa. It's that feeling of like working for yourself, with yourself, then rather than um, against, right? Dig into your left heel, slowly roll through the left foot. Last time, here we go, inhale, slowly open the chest, lift your heart. Exhale to release. Plant the palms, come back to both knees. From here, you're gonna swing the toes around, all the way around, and we're gonna come through to a seat. Now, bring the soles of the feet together here. Knees nice and wide. Grab the ankles. Allow the tops of the thighs to be really heavy here. Then sit up nice and tall, inhale. And exhale to relax the shoulders down, down, down. Now, I think I mentioned this before, but if the knees are all the way up here, been there, it's all good. So you don't have to be flexible to show up to yoga. And some days I feel more flexible than, that, than others, you know, in my mind and in my body. So show up with what you got. Here we go, big inhale. And as you exhale, bend your elbows left to right and send your heart forward, gaze forward. And then use your imagination here, I kinda like Imagining looking down into a pond or something here and you can use your elbows to open the knees wide and look into the pond and what is it you see? I'm just kidding, but kind of not kidding. <laughs> Listen to the sound of your breath. And one more big inhale in here. And then on the exhale, just relax the weight of your head over, big stretch to the back body, through the hips and then tuck the chin into the chest, and then slowly press down through 
your sits bones, connect to your root to roll it all the way back up. Chin is the last thing to lift. This ponytail is out of control. And then slowly release the hands with control, walk the knees back into center. Then extend one leg and then the other. Inhale to reach for the sky. Exhale to capture your big beach ball. Inhale in again. Exhale, bend the knees as generously as you need to. Take your big beach ball all the way forward and find Paschimottanasana, your forward fold. Three cycles of breath here, inhaling deeply, closing the eyes as you exhale fully. As you breathe in, feel the stretch. As you breathe out, feel the nuance of the softening in your body. And at the very least, you're stretching your muscles. And maybe a little deeper, you're unraveling some other things that might be good to tend to, just kind of creating space and some bound up areas. Now stretch through the backs of the legs by slowly kicking the heels out, releasing the hands and rolling up. Inhale in, exhale, come all the way to your back. <laughs> Benji, you are funny bunny today. As you come to your back, go ahead and squeeze the knees up into the chest. And then we're gonna reach the hands to grab the outer edges of the feet. And here we go, happy baby. Lengthen the tailbone towards the front edge of your mat. Kick the soles of the feet up towards the sky. This is a big one. If you want some extra movement here, you can straighten one leg and then the other. Really drag your hands down to the earth, shoulders down to the earth, and activate by sending the soles of the feet up towards the sky. Again, lengthen your tailbone towards the front edge of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Neck is nice and long. And then when you're ready, slowly release. Bring the feet to the earth. Interlace the fingertips. Bring them behind the head. Elbows nice and wide here. Take a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, just allow your knees to fall to the left. Inhale in. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale in again. And exhale, allow your knees to fall to the right. Inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Begin to find extension through the legs. And then release the arms, let them come to rest gently. Palms face up at your sides. Allow the body to relax here. Notice how you feel, close your eyes. Now begin to notice the cool air as you breathe in through your nose and the warm air as you breathe out. And when you're ready, slowly bring the palms together. And then we'll lift the thumbs right up to the third eye, to the true self, the highest self. Namaste.